set a cookie at first. Set cookie username, the cookie name. Um, and then how it's, what cookie it's going to use. Um, we're going to use the variable username, I believe. Yeah. And we're going to do time plus, so meaning the current time plus 259,000 seconds in 200 seconds. That's basically 48 hours, I believe. Um, you can figure it out yourself if you want it to make it for like a week. I believe there are other ways of doing it. Like you can put uh, 7 times 3 plus 6 or something. But I just used calculator. You know, I did um, like 60 times 24 times 60 or whatever. I don't even know. <laughs> Uh, so now that we have that cookie set, we can do else, else, if, else, if, yeah, alright, um, wait, we're just going to put a space between else and if, if, uh, remember me equals nothing, we're going to do that, and we're also going to, echo here, remember me is on, but we're not going to have that forever, um, we're just going to have that to, uh, for debugging purposes, remember me is not on, so you can save that, and now we should open up our internet, and that should work, very simple, so I'll log in without, uh, touching it first, remember me is not on, okay, undefined index, remember me, um, okay, so remember me, is that what you mean? Okay, oh yeah, yeah, that was right, I just had to put in that symbol because I get notices, and notices just uh, notify you of stuff, <coughs> you can turn, <coughs> you can turn notices off in your, um, I'm going over, minutes but you can turn notices off in your PHP uh, configuration file um, I'm gonna stop this video for now and I'll see you guys in about a minute so see you then comment rate subscribe uh, welcome to part two of the remember me and admin tutorial um, yeah so we're gonna start it up and as you can see, I got the undefined index, which I was saying was the notice. And you can turn that off in your PHP config file, but I like it on, so I know that there's that notice and stuff. Um, so remember me is not on, meaning that's good. So now I'm going to log out really quick. Um, one momento. Um, all right, sorry about that. Um. What is it saying? Okay, now that I'm logged out, we'll just go to it really quick. Um, click here to log in. So now we can check it. And we still have to make the logout page. We have to uh, make it for this too. Um, we're just going to submit it. And remember me is on. Successfully logged in. Click here to return to the home page. Okay, but I am not logged in. So. Oh, that is because we did not um, include functions. So is the home page index? You're gonna have to do this for every page basically. Um you, you don't have to session start it, it'll turn up an error if you do. Um So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come into functions and since we didn't do much yet, I'm gonna set uh test user equals oh, well I'm gonna make an if statement first so we're just gonna come down here and we're gonna do if is set session username uh, come and then we're gonna do test user equals uh, session um, username and I made that all fast. Session username. We're gonna, and then we're going to just do else. Um, 
SUV equals cookie using it. Now, if we come and that's really all we need to do, so we're going to refresh this and it should say we'll log in. Undefined variable test user in line 9. Okay, well, we're just going to copy this and erase it. And save it. Oh, okay, I, I see kind of that. Um, we're going to just do if logged in. There, and then we're going to paste that code we just copied. And right there. There. So now, this will work. Yep, hello Andrew Ren, by the way, you are an administrator. <coughs> oh, now I can exit my web browser. And when I have my web browser exited, I can open it back up and it should remember me. Oops. Yep, it did remember me. And now, if you try to log out, it won't let you because... Uh, we never created a log out for the cookie. It, it, you might think we're logged out, but we're really not. See, if you come back, it'll still say it. It'll still log you out if you didn't, did, don't log in with Remember Me. But what we're going to do, we're going to open the log out page. And we're going to do, we're going to leave that. And we're also going to do set cookie um, username. Uh, we just we can skip this field like that, and then what? When is it going to expire? Uh, the time we use we'll just do time minus two five nine two hundred, meaning it'll take us. It'll erase the. Well, basically, I'm I can't really talk like that. <laughs> uh, whatever your time is here, you need to sub subtract it here. Uh, so when they log out it'll erase the cookie from their screen and there probably is a way to destroy a cookie um I don't know anyway so yeah now we can save that and we'll test it go to log out and I'm logged out I, I should be logged out at least Um, yep, I'm not logged in. Okay, so now that that works, we can erase the uh, thing that says logged in as blah blah blah. That, yeah. Um, so I'm going to save this and I'm going to save that and we're going to go into the admin part of this. It shouldn't take long since we already added an O. Oh, you know what? We didn't add admin stuff yet, did we? Um, I'm so sorry. At the beginning of this tutorial, I mentioned that we did. We might not have, actually. We just did login and register. That was something else. So, um, I guess I'm just gonna go around it for now, kind of. Um, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm just going to show you what I've done, and then I'll show you the code for it. Well, I'll talk through it, too. Oops. Okay, so, as you can see here, I'll show you what to do. Um, it won't register.php. Hold on. That was just random. I don't even know. Um, so, I don't know if you guys have any of this, uh, profile, but, um, no we don't, because I watched my last tutorial earlier, and you only have ID, username, password, to join it. Uh, don't worry about profile for now, um, and that'll come later for you, but, uh, we're gonna do the admin part now. <laughs> 